Hey Scrappy friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing with the Silver Bells. I actually have the card making workshop, um, but we're doing a double page layout with that. So that card making workshop comes with some linen, some charcoal. Um, this is rosemary, rosemary and some toffee. And then the two pattern papers, it's front and back. I like that zip strip. And then I went ahead and cut a whole bunch of sprigs out of rosemary and sage. Those sprigs came from the Home for Christmas card making workshop. I used those sprigs and then I also cut this sprig from the Evergreen card making workshop. And then out of the charcoal, I cut some bells out of the Silver Bells card making workshop. And then I think I might bring in this bow as well to tie my bells together. And I did front and back of the bells, so I'm of the cardstock. So I have, um, oh my goodness some lighter and some darker. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do like the darker one behind or if I'll just use either the light or the dark for both of those. Not sure yet, but I have six of those. So sets of two. And yeah, I'm not sure what color bow I'm going to do yet. And then Another thing that I'm planning on bringing in is the Looking Forward. This is the January stamp of the month. So I'm thinking about bringing in this die cut here just with that scalloped edge. And then I really like this for journaling. Beautiful new beginnings. So this is kind of a, it comes with ornaments but I'm thinking more along the lines of ringing in the new year. So I'm thinking about doing a new year's layout. I don't have any pictures from this last new year going into 2024. I was sick and we just laid low. We stayed home, went to bed by eight o'clock. So no new year's pictures from this last year, but there will always be another new year. So I'm excited to play with this. This one has more of those ornaments, but I really like this one. And I think this one screams new year. So bringing that in with some bells, with some of the greenery coming out, I think that'll look nice. So that's kind of my inspiration is this one. I might bring in a little bit of this paper, but it will mostly be this one. This also came with the silver glitter gems. Those are so pretty. Let me pull one out here so you can see. Look at how sparkly and beautiful those are love them so might bring in some of those too i may also play with my cricket to say ringing in the new year this one does have beautiful new beginnings the magic of the beginning of new beginnings so those would make good titles as well but i kind of like the idea of ringing in with the bells so let's go ahead and clean this up and get started all right, I cut down some paper. So this pattern, I cut down eight by 11 and three quarters. I'm thinking of having a quarter inch all the way around, well, around the three sides. So these ones will be butted up against the side to make it one. And then the flip side of that, I cut down to that four inches. So again, leaving that quarter inch on those two sides butting it up on this side. And then I cut that zip strip down. And there we go. So it does overlap here, which I'm fine with wasting that little bit there. That'll be the transition slip. We'll have that border. I am going to bring in the toffee ink. That is a coordinating color with this. And I'm going to distress all of the edges along the border. I'm not going to distress this side here because my pages are going to be making one large 24 inch layout. So let's go ahead and get those distressed. I 
What did all of you do for New Year's? Did you have a good New Year's? I got my photo mats cut. So this is a four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So I'll have a four by six photo on this one. I'm thinking of putting that there. And then I have a four by four. Well, it's a little larger. It's four and a quarter by four and a quarter so that I can fit a four by four picture. A three by four, three by three, and three by four. So I'm thinking something like that. And I might leave a little gap between all of those. Something like that. And then I want an embellishment up here. My title down here. And then another embellishment up here. So then just imagine my title down here, which will be made on the Cricut. Okay, I got these zip strips glued down. And I decided to cut those bows out of periwinkle. I thought periwinkle went nice with that. It kind of accented some of these colors down here. Periwinkle is not actually a coordinating cut die. Oh my goodness. Periwinkle is not actually a coordinating color in this paper pack, but I thought it tied in nicely. So I have some in the darker, some in the lighter. I'm not sure which ones I want to use yet. Don't mind the ink on my fingers. And then I also cut out my title off of the Cricut. So I used the Cricut pen to do the font and then I offset it and cut it out. And I did that just in white cardstock. I thought it looked nice that way. I might actually do some ink blending around it as well. So I'm thinking the title will go somewhere down here. I would like an embellishment cluster up top with some bells. So then I'm thinking those up here, maybe a bow, and then another cluster in this corner. With some bows. I brought out my fancy doilies. I would like to incorporate that somehow down here. Maybe bring some charcoal down since I have charcoal in these clusters. I could also add some color behind here to fill in that, um, which I could bring in black. This pen is black and that would bring that up here as well so here's some scraps if I just hold this in place yes I like that it just brings in the black up top and it looks like a shadow behind it so I'll go ahead and cut those little ovals up okay I cut out some charcoal doilies from those fancy doilies I got the black adhered to the back of these so I have two on the lighter side of charcoal, one on the darker side of charcoal. And then I'm thinking something like this. And have this come behind my picture. Have the title down here and then bring this one up here. And then I would like to bring in a little more and then have a bunch of these coming down the sides I got my doilies and photo mats adhered I didn't adhere all the way to the edges so that I can tuck these underneath if need be One thing I am thinking with the ringing in the New Year title, I like how this looks, the white, the black, the charcoal, but it almost looks too flat for me. I think I might bring in some ink and I'm kind of leaning towards mist. This is what mist looks like when I blend. 
So I'm wondering if I blend a little bit of mist on, if it'll just be enough to bring in some more of those green hues. I may try that too while I'm away. So I will be right back. I like how the mist brought out this title. I like that a lot. So to bring more mist in, I don't have mist anywhere else. I'm going to just bring a little bit of blending back behind these embellishment clusters. So to blend, I want to start behind where I know my cluster or paper is going to be so that it can come out. Um, and fade out. So I've got my mist ink. I'm just going to tap off the harsh. Start back behind. Let's bring in just a few of these and see how that looks. I think I need it to come back behind here a little more. It almost looks like a harsh line going right there, so I'm just kind of blending that out. Yeah, that looks good. And then to bring in the mist on this side, I'll do the same, just right over here. Kind of start back behind where my cluster is. Okay. All right, I'm going to fuss with these clusters a little bit more here, and I'll be back. Okay, I got all of the greenery adhered down. I got the bells all popped up on foam tape. Um, these are all adhered. I got that brushing back behind, blending. I did pop this title up on foam tape as well. So I'm going to bring in some of those glitter gems and I'm just going to sprinkle those around in my clusters. smaller one. I'll add to each cluster as well. Don't mind my dog snoring in the background. Can you guys hear her? <laughs> it's so loud. All right, I think I am going to call this layout finished for now until I get pictures. Here's how those embellishment clusters turned out. I love the glitter on those.
see, I got a little wrinkled there. All right. Well, don't forget to let me know down below, what did you do for New Year's? How'd you ring in the New Year? Until next time, live a life worth scrapping. Bye guys. I've changed up the layout a little bit. I brought in some stamps from the Looking Forward January stamp of the month. I brought that mist color ink back in and I stamped the coming next in mist and then did some distressing around it. Stamped out the new memories, new moments, new adventures. And then I also brought in this and die cut that in mist. So I felt like the page needed something a little lighter up in these embellishment clusters. So I just did it on some white cardstock. And I think that just finished off the clusters. All right, now I think the layout is finished. Thanks for watching, guys.